True Believer by Jack Carr is the second installment in the Terminal List series, following the story of former Navy SEAL James Reese as he copes with the aftermath of a conspiracy that targeted his entire team and family. Having exacted his revenge in the first book, Reese has become a fugitive, pursued by both the FBI and CIA. Seeking solitude, Reese finds refuge in the Mozambique bush, where he grapples with the burden of his past actions and the loss of his loved ones. As Reese tries to find peace, he is sought out by a former Iraqi commando turned CIA contractor, Rafi Hastings, who informs Reese that his friend and SEAL teammate, Bojan, was killed by a suicide bomber in Europe. His death is linked to a series of terrorist attacks orchestrated by a mysterious Syrian with the alias Abu al-Mustasim. The shadowy figure has evaded capture and the intelligence community is desperate to stop his next move. The CIA, represented by Catherine Carmichael, offers Reese a deal. In exchange for helping to stop al-Mustasim, his criminal record will be wiped clean. Reese is initially reluctant, but accepts the offer for several reasons. To honor Bojan's memory, clear his name, and prevent further loss of innocent lives. Joining a covert CIA team, Reese travels to Europe, where he teams up with old military comrades and new allies, including former SEAL teammate and close friend Marcus Gumby Boykin. They collaborate with European intelligence operatives, including the highly competent and attractive French agent Fabienne Carteron and the formidable Polish Grom commando Maciej Mo Dobrowolski. Reese employs his singular skills to unearth Almustasim's network, sifting through old contacts from his tours in the Middle East. They trace the threat to an unlikely alliance between Al-Mustasim and a rogue Russian bioweapons expert, Dr. Alexander Zakharov. The pair plan a devastating attack involving a weaponized and highly contagious strain of the Nipah virus. Their objective is to incite panic and destabilize the West. The pursuit leads Reese and his allies across Europe and into the volatile Middle East, where they navigate treacherous landscapes and shifting alliances. In Russia, a parallel narrative unfolds featuring Katie Buranik, a journalist, and Reese's love interest. She investigates Russian oligarchs and their connections to global insurgents, which places her on a dangerous collision course with Reese's mission. Reese's team uncovers the terrorist scheme to unleash the virus at multiple locations around the world. Their plan includes an attack on an American aircraft carrier group in the Mediterranean, which could result in massive casualties and provoke global conflict. Reese's personal motivation shifts as he realizes that the mission is about more than avenging his friend or clearing his name. It is about averting a catastrophe that could alter the course of history. The climax of the novel occurs in an action-packed confrontation in Syria. Reese and his team must infiltrate al mustasims stronghold to secure the viral agent and prevent the deadly plot. With time running out, Reese and the team face seemingly insurmountable odds and intense combat. Reese confronts al mustasim and Zakharov in a deadly showdown, thwarting their attack and eliminating the terror cell. In the aftermath, the virus threat is neutralized and Reese's actions have saved countless lives. He earns an official pardon, and the truth about the previous conspiracy that cost Reese everything is publicly exposed, rehabilitating his reputation. As Reese settles into a new life by Katie's side, he reflects on the cost of his journey. While the public celebrates his vindication, Reese silently contends with the toll of his profession, finding solace in a future that, for the first time in a long while, isn't mired in conflict. However, the shadow of future dangers looms setting the stage for Reese's continued struggles in the subsequent novels of the Terminal List series. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.